Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Naam, name, state, and question, please. My name is Nuha, and I'm from Toronto, and I want to know if why music is haram. Is what again? I want to know why music is haram. Why is music is haram? Yeah. Okay. Do you, uh, Noha, how old are you? I'm 11. Noha, uh, you're a Muslim, right? You're a Muslim, you're a Muslim. I know, I know that you are, but yeah. I'm just, uh, yani, just, I'm building up to something here. You know what the word Islam means? Yeah. What is the, the meaning of the word in English, Noha? Uh, wait a sec. Islam is an Arabic word, right? It's not an English word, correct? Noha, are you there? Noha, just talk to me. I'll help you. I'll give you the help you need. Don't seek help from people there. Just, just talk to me. I'll help you. You know, Islam is, Islam is an Arabic word, correct? Yeah. You know what it means in Arabic, in English? What is the equivalent for it in English? Um, no, I forgot. You know, submission. Oh. You know, if, um, if, if there are two forces fighting one another, and one of them cannot fight anymore. Uh -huh. What does he do? He raises a, a white hanky in his hand. Mm -hmm. Right? He does like this with a white hanky. Basically, he's telling his opponent what? I can't fight anymore. Do what you ever want to do with me. Or in, uh, back, back then, they, they would raise their hands up like this. I'm, I'm all yours. You know what, that, what does this mean? He has submitted. Is Teslam. The same exact thing, Noha, once it comes with us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah, then you're saying, Oh Allah, I'm submitting to you, Oh Allah. Yes. You got it, Noha? So whatever, yeah. Oh Allah, you decide, I'm not going to say no to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say no to you, O oh Allah. Whatever you decide, O oh Allah, because I have submitted my life to you. I have submitted myself to you. All what I want to do, O oh Allah, is what you tell me. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the tongue of his messenger, told us that music is haram. Mm -hmm. That music is haram. Now, why I shouldn't ask? Why shouldn't I ask? Because when I believed in Allah, I believed in His name, the wise, mm -hmm. that Allah has wisdom. So when Allah, the wise, tells me to do something, then I'm not going to worry about what He told me to do or not to do. I'm just going to believe in his name, the wise, that he must have wisdom. So, even so, you may not understand why music is haram, why we cannot listen to music. I don't understand, Ya Rabb. But you know, O oh Allah, I believe in you. I believe in your names and attributes. And one of your names is all wise. You must have wisdom that you made this haram. So, as a Muslim, Noha, I should not ask, why did Allah do this? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, لا يسأل عما يفعل وهم يسألون. I want the viewers to, to pay attention to this. Allah is not to be questioned about his actions. <laughs> yeah, you can say, what is the wisdom? What is the wisdom behind it? And you can try to get some wisdom going. But you're stealing Allah. Why? Why you're asking me to do this? It's like, for example, وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى This is something that we normally have to say when we want to use a parable. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you have a child, if you have, your father, for example, tells you, Nuha, uh, bring me a cup of uh, glass of water. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell your father why? No. Okay, because you trust the wisdom of your father. That he for yeah. sure, he's going to use that water for a good thing, Noha. The same exact thing here. We got to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that whenever he tells us, 
Adultery is haram. Usury is haram. Music is haram. Whatever is haram is haram. We must believe that there is a wisdom behind it. Saying this, Noah, I tell you right now, music occupies the heart of a person from the Quran. You love music? You want to chant? You do? No. No, no, not, not you, but in case if there is any yeah. viewer out there, Noah, I'm just talking to the viewers. You see, you brought up a good point, yeah. but I'm not talking about you. You want to chant? Why don't you learn the Quran and chant the Quran? I know it's not called chanting, but if you recite it, it's going to sound like chanting. Oh. Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-arub. Oh, chanting. Sounds like chanting. But yet you're chanting the words of Allah. Uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam actually said that مَن لَمْ يَتَغَنَّ بِالْقُرْآنِ فَلَيْسَ مِنَّ Whosoever does not purify his voice by reciting the Quran is not one of us. He told Abi Musa al-Ash'ari, a companion Nuha, because he had a beautiful voice. He had a beautiful voice when he recited the Quran. لَقَدْ أُعْطِيَ مِزْمَارًا مِنْ مَزَامِيرِ آلِ دَاوُودِ He was given an instrument instrument of the inst instrument of Dawood. You know Prophet Dawood alayhi salam when he used to recite the Psalms, the Zabur, the birds and the mountains used to repeat because of his beautiful voice. So now what happens now is our Muslim youth, they leave the Quran and they go baby, baby, and, and that rat stuff, the Quran right here. Oh, the Quran right here. Why didn't you learn the Quran? and beautify your, your voice with the Quran. But they go after this anashid, and they go after this rat music, and they go after this stuff, okay? That occupies you and takes you away from the Quran, Nuha. Jazakallah khairan, hopefully we help you, okay?